Welcome back to America Right Now. I'm Tom Basili. The fight for the U.S. Senate is well underway with Georgia's freshman Senator Raphael Warnock, who narrowly won a runoff election in 2021, a top target for the GOP. The Georgia Republican primary is May 24th, and several GOP candidates are ramping up their campaigns. Earlier this week, we spoke with one of those candidates, Josh Clark. The former member of Georgia's House of Representatives served two terms before stepping out of politics. But what made him come back in? Take a listen. Well, Tom, it was a privilege. In fact, one of the greatest privileges of my life was getting to serve the people of Georgia. But I've always believed that politics should be for a season and not a lifetime career. So I stepped away after two terms unopposed and have been serving in the, in the private sector. But I can't no longer stay on the sidelines as I watch the war that's happening from within. It's watching our children's future and their freedom under assault. And so I'm duty calls, I'm stepping back up and we're gonna take back the Senate, stop Biden, Warnock, Pelosi, their socialist agenda, and return the uh, power back to the people of Georgia. I should mention that uh, you also had s have six children um, which I have three. I have no idea how you would keep up with six children. Um, and uh, and uh, you, uh, you know, you're up against Herschel Walker, speaking of somebody who uh, doesn't, didn't make a career out of politics, neither have you, um, and, and a bunch of others in the primary. What makes you stand out of the crowd, though? And how will you translate that into your representation in Washington? Well, Tom, I appreciate um, all the opponents. They're all nice guys, but the reality is our country is in a crisis right now. And I am the only proven conservative, the only proven conservative in this race. And I believe that right now is not the time to, to roll the dice. And for six years, you know, mind you, it's not like this is a congressional term of two years where if you get it wrong, you know, you just, you, you, you bring them back, but this is six years. You can either do a lot of good or a lot of harm, and we've realized how important every vote is so important. So as a proven conservative with a track record, uh, earned the Defender of Liberty Award, um, have a very distinctive conservative track record, um, I believe that I am, with all humility, but I believe I am not only the only proven conservative, but in addition, I believe I'm the only one that can win in November. And so why do you um, say I that? Think, well, because I think when you look, we look toward November, the important thing is making sure that we get the people, you know, to come out, right? The mm -hmm. only reason I'm even in this race is because, you know, so many people, um, we had challenges in the election last year, and we need to make sure that we have a proven conservative uh, without, you know, a lot of issues and baggage that can uh, represent the state of Georgia, where we can take back the Senate, because you know, the pundits are saying this is the most important Senate race or important election this cycle in the country. All right. So well, I think we need a proven conservative. So, Josh, let's talk about that. The Democrat holding the current seat is uh, the Reverend Raphael Warnock. He is a controversial figure in Washington, uh, in part for suggesting that abortion is somehow a biblical principle. I remember that one. Uh, pushing a federal takeover of elections, the Green New Deal, and other issues. What is the biggest issue to you that voters talk to you about the most? And then let's t talk to us about how you contrast with the senator on, on those, major pro those major issues. Yeah. Well, great question. And there's, you know, unfortunately, he's not only a liberal, but he is a radical socialist liberal, big government, you know, and, and, and here he's representing what I believe is a red state. I have been in the trenches, in fact, since I got out of high school. Um, I, my father was a pastor, and uh, I, one of the verses that really impacted me is when the, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Um, and so I went to work trying to help get good conservatives, constitutional conservatives elected. And I remember the days, in fact, when some of my opponents in this race were, were Democrat, even in our primary, some of my opponents were, were voting Democrat, were a part of the Democrat Party. I was rolling up my sleeves, just volunteering um, on the side while building businesses, but to try to help get good conservatives elected. And so, um, you know, we fought hard to get to flip both of those U.S. Senate seats. And we have a U.S. Senator now in Raphael Warnock, who's not just a Democrat, but he's a radical uh, liberal Democrat. You look at so many, you know, some of the top issues that I'm hearing from Jordans are talking about. One of them is our borders. 
Right. You know, with our borders, open borders, that's, I mean, that's so many issues there. It's a national security issue. It's leading to our youth are literally dying. Um, you reported on this recently, the number one cause of death between 18 and 45 year olds, the number one cause of death is opioid, fentanyl, drug overdoses. And most of that's coming through the Southern border. A lot of that's coming from China. Uh, looking at sex trafficking, an issue that's really important to me. I have four daughters. Um, I uh, helped fight that issue as a former state legislator. And when I look at our open borders and I see that you know it's affecting Georgians and our entire country on so many levels, and Raphael Warnock is saying and doing nothing. You know, yeah. I look at our, our debt, you know, again, with six children, I look at our debt spiraling out of control. I'm a penny pincher. I grew up the poor, the poor talked about, the oldest of 10 children, you know, the father is a pastor. I learned the difference between needs and wants, and yet we're literally, the way I see it, we're stealing from future generations, you know, for, to take care of ourselves today. It's like taking a loan out against our children and grandchildren's future earnings. And yeah. so, and then the freedom, I mean, he had an opportunity to go on record, you know, opposing the mandates, they're crushing small businesses. And yet he not only, you know, he voted against killing those mandates. Right. So he's so right. out of touch for us. We've got to, we've got to put a conservative up. And, yeah. and you know, my, my opponent, my opponents, if you look at the Herschel, you mentioned Herschel last summer, he yeah. said, we need to amend the constitution, change the constitution because of changing demographics. That's not a conservative, nice guy, sports hero, but not a conservative. I want to I want to ask you about something that was making news this week. The Biden administration is looking to set up injection sites and hand out crack pipes in the name of racial equity. Uh, this as crime and government dependency and drug overdoses are on the rise, as you mentioned. Uh, your comments on that program and and what do we do about crime in America? Because obviously that's something that is going to be a major motivator for folks that are coming out to the polls. Yes. Yes, and it's affecting our state. It's affecting not only our state, of course, but we're looking at crime rates sky high, record levels, and yet, you know, who's, who's where's Raphael to speak up for this? Mm -hmm. um, and we know that, you know, and I think part, you know, part of that issue also, that's there's a lot of issues leading to that, but even the radical shutdown takeover of our economy leads to that. When you shut down the economy and you have a bunch of people sitting by, you know, idle hands, you know, the devil's workshop, and then when you got, then when you have these Democrats that are disparaging, you know, the men and women who are stepping up to serve our country, to protect our country, and then you wonder what's going to happen. As I talk to police officers, they say, Josh, morale's at an all-time low. Right. And so we need somebody who's going to stand up and champion that for the good of all of us, not just conservatives, right. but everybody, right? Absolutely. All right. Uh, Josh, uh, where can people learn a little bit more about you and where you stand on the issues? Well, thank you. I'd love for them to go to votejosh.com. Again, that's votejosh.com. Click on Get Involved. We'd love for you to be a part of this. We're going to build, we're building a grassroots movement across Georgia. Our family moved into our 45 foot bus. So we're <laughs> crisscrossing the state of Georgia, excited to bring a message of hope and bring victory, not only for Georgia, but for this nation. So we take back the Senate, stop Biden. All right. As Georgia the only improving conservative, yeah. check me out. Georgia Senate candidate Josh Clark, thanks, and we'll be following the race. Thank you so much. Our thanks to Josh Clark for being with us. There's a lot more to come on America right now. Stay with us.